The Communist Party of China was born in Shanghai a hundred years ago. From more than 50 members to the present more than 95 million members, past 100 years saw CPC becoming the biggest party globally and transforming China into one of the biggest powers in the world. Here I am in the birthplace of CPC to meet a special CPC member who is the same age as the party. Yes, 100 years old. Having been living in this village his whole life, Grandpa Yu witnessed the entire process of China growing from almost scratch economically to an overall moderately prosperous or Xiaokang society. Now here he comes. Yu Boxing was born to a farmer's family in 1921. He was lucky enough to go to school. After the founding of the People's Republic of China, he began to teach at night school to help reduce literacy. In 1953, he served as the village director. His wife passed away 10 years ago, and he has insisted on living alone since. Home care is not the only service the local government provides for the elderly. Every two weeks, Shuvian Town also treats seniors to haircuts, massages, and even offers them physical exams. While well taken care of by these services, for Grandpa Yu, family gatherings give him the most joy. Once a year, family members of different generations get together like this. But what's different this time is that I am going to join them. Yu Ye Ye, Cai Shang Qi La. Oh, Cai Shi La. Cai Qi La. Oh, come on, Cai La. Cai Qi La, Cai La. Each generation of this family represents its distinctive social and economic development stage in China. In other words, this family is an epitome of China in 100 years. Yu Yuan, Yang Bo Kai. Yu has a notebook in which he has recorded the names of hundreds of revolutionary martyrs. He loves to share the stories of those martyrs at events organized by the party and he's not missed one of them. He still reads newspapers, listens to the radio to learn about the country's and the party's policies. He says the sacrifices of the martyrs and those policies have made a good life today possible. Mm. This centenarian said in his younger years he had dreamed of having enough food and living a comfortable and secure life in a prosperous country where people are well. And now those dreams have come true. And this is his concept of Xiao Kang and also the country Xiao Kang in essence. As simple as that. And his wishes for the future are simple too, to be healthy to spend more time with his family and to see more improvements in his hometown. So we wish him health, more joy, and for the entire family, lasting prosperity. Li Dongning, CGTN, Shanghai.